Good morning. to get them all in the wild. Of course, I don't have the Walmart exclusive Captain America, but hey, we, we were able to build Venom Pool, and we also have the movie version Venom. This is a good way, so guys sit back, check these out. We'll go through the nuts and bolts of everything first, then we'll come back and we'll discuss them a little bit. So these are all the figures from this wave, so. Enjoy. Phage. Phage stands just under six and a half inches. Phage includes a symbiote knife. <laughs> what is that? What is this thing? Phage also included Venom's right leg. Okay, let's get into Phage's articulation, starting from the top. Uh, simple up vertical horizontal but he stretches out there really far to get those symbiote poses so that's good good neck head and neck articulation shoulders are what's standard with the marvel legends rotating bicep swivel double elbows you know he has the claws so they rotate and also hinge we also have Torso crunch, forward, back, waist articulation, hip, ball articulation, thigh, swivel, double knee, calf articulation, rotating calf, ankle swivel and pivot, which can put him in those cool symbiote type poses. Spider Ghost stands at five and a half inches compared to this guy. I like the hands on this one better. The articulation of Spider Ghost. She's, hit, she's hidden in this hood. So you're not really gonna mess with her face because the hood, this is typically the head, the way this figure is designed. So you got, you got left, right, and, but, so I can't tell, and I wouldn't, I don't want to take the head off of this one right now. You have a shoulder hinge. This is the bicep swivel, but this is where the elbow and, you know, Marvel Legends, for some reason, they just don't do double elbows on their female Marvel Legend figures. That's so annoying to me. And we have the wrist, and then from there, let's go to the, she has that waist, the, I'm sorry, torso, no waist articulation. It's a, it's a, it's the standard Marvel Legends female book where it, you know, it has its moments, but just in my opinion, I feel like double elbows would just take these figures to another place, man. Cause it's not necessarily about the amount of articulation. It's about how it's used. You know what I mean? Like double elbows would have, man, this figure would have just, you would have just been able to pose it so dope. You can still get dope poses. All right, now back to it. We have the um, thigh, ball thigh, thigh swivel, double knee, calf swivel. And she has the hinge pivot forward and back hinge. Again, those are vital to get you off a good Venom pose with these. 
Miles Morales stands just under five and a half inches. Miles Morales comes with Venom Pool's right arm. The articulation of Miles Morales. Vertical. Horizontal. Rotating shoulder. Ball shoulder, I'm calling that. Raises. Bicep swivel. Has those double elbows. The wrist. See how it it does rotate and hinge. We have that um, torso. It's back, forward, waist rotation, ball hip. Oh, we do have a thigh swivel. We'll go down to the knee. Good double knee. Calf rotation. Hinge, you see how flat these feet are? Hinge, pivot. Mine are always so tight, and I, I, I'm gonna have to run some hot water on these to get some good stuff going. But he has the hinge, pivot. Perfect for getting him in those venomizing poses. Absolute carnage stands just under six and a half inches. Carnage came with Venom Pool's head. Absolute Carnage also includes a regular Carnage head. Let's get into the articulation of Carnage. Okay, so we got the, let's go to head rotation. Good vertical, it's down. Horizontal, good side to side. He has the butterfly, he has the butterfly shoulders shoulder rotation then he has the bicep swivel double elbow rotating hinge wrist got his midsection it's up it's down rotating waist thigh rotation double knee rotating calves hinge and pivot and that is your articulation of carnage gosh another good figure from this wave another this is a perfect carnage, man. Toxins box. It's a good box, man. Toxin stands seven and a half inches. This is Venom Pool. The Build a figure Venom. And toxin near each other. Guys get an idea of the size comparison. Face night venom. Okay, let's get into the articulation of the bath size toxin figure. Okay, he has the up, down, here's the shoulder. Rotate, bicep swivel, not the double elbow, but this is a bath size, so we are, we're, we've been forgiving for the double elbow because aesthetically this articulation looks good to us. We have the the wrist, um, it's a supposed to, it should swivel, but it's the peg on it is too short, so it's not, you're not gonna be able to really do anything with the hands. So you have the wrist. They could, you see the, the ab, ab crunch. Back, forward, waist rotation, hip, ball hip, thigh rotation, double knee, ankle rotation. Then you have your pivot, your hinge pivot. Giving you the ability to put him in those very carnage like poses. This is the venom right here. The movie venom. That's Jerry Wilson's work right there. Bang. The movie venom stands just under seven and a half inches. Here's some size reference. You see Spider Man? Go, go, get arts. Here's the venom right here. The movie venom. 
Movie Venom includes a second set of claw hands. Movie Venom also includes a alternate head. Let's go over the articulation <laughs> of easily one of Marvel Legends top 10 figures of 2020. Yes, I said that. This guy is top 10 status. Usually I, I wait, I, I get all dramatic, I do the thing. I'm t we're talking right now in articulation, guys. Let's start from the top. We have the, we have this kind of, and it's weird. I would have thought they would have put a hinge on here, but, but we have the ball joint connection for the head. So you don't really get to go up so high. You don't go so high, you don't go so low with this figure. You have your shoulder, good rotation. You have your bicep swivel, double elbow, hinge rotation. And here we have the, this, it, this is interesting right here, but this is something we don't really see that often with Marvel Legends. We have a, that's a ball in there. And then you have the connection right here for the, for the um, midsection. There's no waist rotation. And, and you guys know, like I always, you guys who's, who's follow the show, when they take articulation away, I, I tend to like grade the figure lower. But this one is a, still a top 10. And I'll, I'll explain why once we're done. We have the ball in there. We have the, the thigh, double double knee. And then we have the hinge, the pivoting hinge. What's, what's interesting about this figure, cause I'm gonna probably just go ahead and dub over this one. But what's interesting about this figure is Based off the articulation you have, you can still get these really cool dynamic venom poses. Like it's honestly, it's not about what articulation that they use. It's about the articulation that they have on the figure and how it's used on the figure. That's what makes good articulation. And the articulation on this figure to me is, it's, it's perfect, man. It is perfect for this figure. It feels so flexible and there's a wild balance about it. Like it's one of those figures that every time you walk by it, you're gonna pick him up. Cause he's so damn cool. Now let's get to this waves. Bell of the ball. Our favorite Venom pool. I feel like people should be applauding this figure right now. Look at this, beautifully sculpted. Man, I love the balance on it. I, I love this figure. But let's get into the articulation of this beautiful son of a bitch. <laughs> First of all, we got the neck up and down. And if you see, we got uh, uh, quite a distance of vertical articulation on this thing. You're gonna have him crouching down. He works standing straight up. For, so we have the neck vertical horizontal horizontal we have the rotating ball shoulder bicep swivel yes the bicep swivel we don't have a double elbow but we have not a good extension there that's not i'm not mad at that and then again we have that that wrist rotation but these are so short the the pegs on these are so short I'm surprised they haven't fallen out. Like, that's my, my gripe with these big guys. You gotta make those pegs a little longer. Ab crunch, waist rotation. He just looks beautiful, just on bullshitting around. You don't even really have to, to work super hard to pose him to make him look cool. He is cool. You have the ball hip, thigh rotation, double knee. No, I thought that was calves for a second, but that's just, this is just part of the decor, but it doesn't rotate. You have the ankle swivel back and front, thus putting him in some very cool poses. And that is the, the articulation of Venom Pool. So what'd you guys think is this Venom Wave? I'm not mad, it was dope, right? It was like low key fire. We had some good figures in this wave. I appreciated the update of Toxin. Definitely, definitely ch <laughs> changed your perspective of this character. I don't know what, this version looks ridiculous now. Man, we, we got that dope movie verse Venom. <laughs> 
the MCU Venom. Can we call it that now? Can we call it that? MCU? Um, we got him, who was a dope figure, nicely balanced, beautifully articulated. Hasbro needs to do their Spider-Mans like that. Because compared to this Venom, the Spider-Mans are extremely stiff. They definitely need to maybe work on something. That Venom was fire. Fire. It's a, it's a 10 and it's definitely going to be a discussed figure when we talk about highlights from Marvel Legends for 2020. He's definitely in that conversation. But nevertheless, we also got that the Carnage was good. I appreciate the Carnage. And even though, yeah, it was Miles Morales and Gwen, Spider-Gwen retooled a bit with some stuff added on but they're good additions I, I i do like these versions better well i liked i like the spider gwen's version better than the original one these figures feel they feel a little different they feel like they're more they're looser not in the sense of the joints but they feel more fluid for some reason and these are based off the venomized cartoon not the Venom verse comic book. The figure that we got that was based off the Venom verse comic was in an older Venom wave, and this is this one, Poison. Well, I believe I think it's is that Peter Parker, something like that. But we got this Poison figure. I wish they would have continued on. I'd be interested in a. a I was interested in all the characters that had that Venom verse look, but the Venom eyes look, which the Captain America. The Walmart exclusive of Captain America, that he's the venomized one based off the Disney cartoon. Just a little clarity. How about that bath? How about that venom pool, guys? Mwah, he was cream de la creme of what I I man, I really appreciate I love that figure. The texture, the sculpting, the balance. It's a dope figure. He photographs well. He works crouching he works standing up straight this is a really good figure and it looks dope on a deadpool shelf so if you are a deadpool fan and you like deadpool a lot and you collect action figures yes you want this figure in your collection i wouldn't be surprised if that figure is not single packed <laughs> before the end of next year but hey that's it guys that's um pretty much the show we talked a little bit about stuff we talked about the venom wave what do you guys think i'm very active in the comment section so go ahead let me know what you guys think of this venom wave it's a dope wave if you were on the fence about picking them up pick them up you could probably find them at a still retail now they're not secondary market hasn't even these are like low-key i guess you know people are getting them but it's you can they're, they're still available at a decent price online man this is fun <laughs> this is always fun for me and i hope it's fun for you you guys um it's crazy out here it's the holiday season and you guys need to remember not to be too stressed out don't use online as a gauge to when you should have a figure if you go by that pace you'll lose your mind this is me telling you that you will lose your mind if you move based off internet hype grab the figures you want this is not this isn't 2007 this isn't the head and chest days where a wave would drop and you'll never be able to get them figures i've seen every mcfarlane figure more than once on the shelf so relax you guys are losing your minds man chill out this is action figures bro you're collecting action figures you're supposed to be having fun <laughs> i know i say that's like my tagline and I say that, but I mean it. Once this isn't fun, move on. <laughs> move on because it's very expensive too. Don't waste your money doing something that's not gonna bring you enjoyment. That's just me talking. And stay tuned for our end of the year special. That, we're gonna talk about Marvel Legends 2020's top 10 and notable highlights. That's what we'll call it. Marvel Legends top 10 and notable highlights. Good night. Why am I saying good night? Because I'm taping this at night. It's actually good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs>
<laughs> Good morning. Good morning.